Um, and right now he's not a coach. No, he is a player. He's a player. So listen, if he wants to get out of the server, let's see if Team Liquid grants him that dying wish. Okay. Because this is an elimination game. You are being sent to the showdown where we know the Titans can fall. There's no room for error once we get to the showdown. We'll see this evening who is going to stand taller. Team Liquid already forced a little bit away from this A bomb site. 5v5 in the post plant. Let's go. Smoke soon to fade next to connector. It's Mihu back to back with Cirque trying to guard both sides. Ah, ugh, that was ugly. <laughs> and uh, well, Cirque did get one before his death as well. So man advantage as the retake starts going. Obo able to get the head of Grim. You know, Obo's track record versus Liquid basically non-existent. And I think that's, you know, that's the unfortunate thing is that with Sir, yep. play CS, play a FFA deathmatch, spin around, have so much fun, improve your movement, everything, and still miss the same amount of shots. And in fact, you actually hit crazier shots when you're on a high sense because your mouse is in the middle of your mouse pad more of the time. If you get a 3K on 400 DPI in one sense, you feel like a superhero because your arm just did a marathon going from one end of the mouse pad to the <laughs> other and you weren't supposed to get those kills. On high sense, it was in the middle of the whole time where we you're comfortable. That's why you should use high sense. The comfort zone. Well, we'll see how comfortable evil geniuses can find themselves in this one with the Galil, obviously off of the back of that there bomb plant. They've got some rifles to work with. I want to borderline argue, say that EG have the better buy, utility not considered. Smoking off at the top of connector, but that doesn't quite activate Grim. He's up close and personal, but you know, maybe Daps doesn't want to push buttons. He can still hold an angle. That's true. That doesn't hurt the, it doesn't inflame the wrist. Exactly. To, to be holding Palace. The least amount of input needed. He's going to jump out soon. Well, he's going to start prodding soon. Fall takes a shot. Ooh, misses the shot. Still clear close A ramp. Oh, we, we've seen this setup before. So he goes back in. Didn't see anything else, but there are in fact four players at the top of the connector. Team Liquid getting slapped around by the scout of Apex last evening. Uh-oh, he gets spotted in the ramp, but Stewie comes in. Extra cavalry. Very nice. Headshot into Oboe, drops bomb, kind of stagnates the play at the 22nd mark. They're very wary of the ramp player, and Grim actually comes back in. Grim gives them that chance to alleviate a bit of pressure, but bomb will be planted over towards the connector. It's going to have to be Surf to come in big, and instead, it's Team Liquid to come in fast. Stewie and Elige wide swinging out CT, easy defuse, three surviving. That's M4s back in their hands, and a second round in their pocket. Nice mug. It was just lacking a little bit of explosivity there once they got up connector. It was looking all right. They had their all their players alive. They got the amount of map control they were looking for. But then as soon as Fallen takes this shot here, I think a connector, and then the exec is on. You're really like lacking some ferocity, I think, from the T side, and some of the players are peeking on different timings, and then people are starting to get shot in the back and stuff like that. But if you looked at the setup from Team Liquid, you know, as you were mentioning with the guns, they had the scout and CT, and Grim was there on A ramp, and they weren't even playing together really. Like Grim could have if Grim had pushed into A ramp there, that would have been a strong spot, but then he showed himself, mm -hmm. and Fallen had to consistently watch that and fight connector. So it was definitely possible to break that down, but they couldn't figure it out. And now they have to get relegated just to the Deagles. CZ for Daps. Again, Daps, no inputs. He can hold angles and sit inside this of smoke. Great for the tendons. <laughs> it's great for the tendons. His health is at an all-time high, yeah. and uh, we'll see if he can punish as Naf just very quickly melts three players over towards apartments. Daps does get that head turn, and it opens up the B site large enough for Cirque, who also had a kill, to plant the bomb. So this is a curious situation because Daps just added Stewie to the tally. Daps, oh. oh, he's going huge. This is a CZ to an M4 to a potential round win unless Grim comes in with the 1v2. And does he challenge? Just through the smoke, Cirque just turned his attention. Grim gives chase, gets that kill. Daps! Oh! It was a hell of an effort, but it's Grim's in with the clutch. 1v2, didn't take a smidgen of damage for Team Liquid's third round. That is so... He's powering them up. Yeah. Quick little head boost. We had the op v op, but Damn. neither shot lands. I was falling, like, expecting that, too. Oh, Ooh. there's two snipers. Surprise, surprise. Any naffers? Always. They're always in chat. Ooh, a leash. That's why you should use low sense right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but this still guy. the two ops exist. Uh, that's the tough part. 
I gotta say, Launders, you're very, you have very convincing propaganda. <laughs> I, I flip flop like a prom tree in the wind. Mm. We go back and forth. Let's see what the idea is. They're trying to start, start a rotation, making it a little bit tricky. Just doing like a default smoke here in upper B, trying to draw some attention. Meanwhile, the you know actual exec looks like it is going to lean this direction. Stewie so takes one out of the connector. And they find out where Cirque is, at least, inside of middle. And now it could come down to this kill. Let's see if the pressure is too much for Naf. It's me who starts to encroach on his spot. Ah, oh, it's not. He does just fine. But then he also does give an opening for Cirque to work his way up Cat. Could cost daps. Push Cirque into a clutch. Uh, the bomb is on Cirque, and mm -hmm. they don't have nades to cross, so Naf might have an open shot. Daps goes right by <sighs> as well on a timing. That's it. And Cirque's now going to come by the window. Oh, and he makes noise? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Jumps across. We're taking chances, I see. Wow. Uh, but the Hail Mary, it lands. Daps jumps over towards the bench as well, so unfortunately for Nafly, other than that contact versus, you know, a flying Cirque, he's got no confirmation. Cirque's gonna stay fixated over here as the cat player then throws the utility. That audio cue turns Cirque's attention, and he misses his shot. Cirque looking for the angle versus Naf, and oh, oh okay. <laughs> the ops popping off, Naf and Fallen, the key to this round. They keep both those snipers, which is good for the economy of Liquid as they get better starts than that. Any Naffers, I'll ask again. Ten and two. That's a very that's a very safe way to hold the steering wheel while driving, Anders. Mm. He is in the process of getting his license. Him and Rick Ross are about to get their driver's license in the I, same week. I knew there had to be some kind of parallel between Anders and Rick Ross. Mm -hmm. The other one is the hair. Of course. Spellin losing half his HP here at the bottom of connector. Stewie's feeling a little pressured. If anybody pops off for EG on an individual level that could carry them to a close game or stretch of the imagination, map win, do you think it's Mihu? He is... I, I, I feel like he is consistently like impressive in some of their important, in important ways. But yeah, yeah, I think so for sure. Okay, the attack is potentially coming. Grim on a time, it could peek out, but he's not watching this for Fallen. Setup's a little strange, but Grim does find the trade, and the and the op can get recovered as well. Yeah, at the very least, Grim had to make sure he traded that. Now Grim's in a bit of a pickle. He's got T's pushing and pressuring each side of him. Mihu getting the better of a liege over on the catwalk as the A site crumbles to the favor of Liquid. Mihu's half health dropped by Stewie2K. Liquid on. They are now. It looks like prep to just go six and zero, oh, but we'll try another kind of B exec, which is a few nades here from the T side of evil geniuses. No one's coming up cat this time around. That was the key to the puzzle last time before they got run 1v2 by Grim. See if they can do it with the late lurk without the late lurk from Daps. Nah. With another op shot. They're feeding him. Yeah, he's having a good night so far. Elysian with the solo AK kill and well, speak the devil, Miku. Double Deagle. Ooh. Fallen's got pistols all around him, but Daps just runs into the shot. Cirque's there able to get his hands on an AWP, and now we've got both terrorists with snipers looking for the CT peaks, one of which connects. It's on to Grim. Yet again. Oh, he's got a timing. Yes, he does. They think they've got him locked in, but now that he's up close on these snipers, Ooh. Grim with the double spray down makes it look easy. That's two 1v2s from Grim so far from Market Backdoor. <laughs> it's important that you highlight it. He's coming from the same spot same because spot. They, they leave it open again. They let him do the exact same. It's like they might meet that quotia. 16 to like, you know. They've got they've got a six to uh they've got a six zero right now. It looks like they're not gonna stop. They're looking for clean wins, of course, for the confidence. For the fans. For the fans, man. It's all for the fans. Let's see. Another oh, man, they they just they don't believe in NAF. But they're wrong. <laughs> yeah, right? They, they keep like, coming this way. Uh, they just want it. When NAF has a strong start like this, give him a little room to cool off. Uh-oh. Elyse actually down for the count, but of course, Nafly on the kill feed, and he tries to work his way around it. Mithu has been so crucial in creating openings. Yeah, great refrags from him. Last round, double Deagle. This round, double M4. Stewie2K tries to rush down the bomb plant, but instead gets the kill towards bench. Mihu comes off of the site and is now on for another one. 
Cirque gets Grim, Fallen decides to concede. That is EG on the scoreboard, and I have to say, majority of openings, thanks to Mihu. It's gotta be, yeah, you mentioned him. It is the guy who is, he's getting all the refrags. He's not at first out. Um, another reason why you should raise your sense, okay? It's not, you're not easy to entry frag when you're on very low sense. You will miss some kills. What sense are you on? You doubled it. I didn't I, double it. I didn't double it. Oh, calm oh, down, calm I down. I got you to down. change it, right? You did get me to increase it. Okay, yeah. how much? Uh, I went from 800 DPI 0 0.8 yes. to 800 DPI 0 0.9. Oh, it's just like a baby upgrade. Yeah. Okay. So it's a nudge in the you right direction. You didn't want to be too nuts. Exactly, man. And style in the news. Just, just one nuts. <laughs> I have a bad back, but don't make me laugh. Okay. Hard. That's why you don't want to listen to this guy. You hear how old he is? <laughs> I'm laughing and my back hurts. Okay. That's not cool. That's not cool. Consecutive round wins. I think that's really the goal here. That's the ambition. And it's the potential outcome. Why? We've got double deagles here for Liquid. After six consecutive round wins, I feel like, you know, double ops included, they find themselves with some pistols. And despite Naf not having an op, they decide to put Fallen in his position. Oof. Could have been his demise versus Cirque, but a missed shot from EG's offer, and ah, oh, Leash. Man, he's getting kind of bullied this evening. A little awkward timing there. He did have the spot that you want to be in to watch underpa under uh, underpass, but right in the middle of jumping up. Okay, trades come down. Man, Fallen's like Batman right now. He's got the full kit of utility. He's got the diffuse kit as well. He's throwing everything in the kitchen sink at this B presence, and that th it is causing the rotate. They are going to head over towards the A site, and this is a round where Liquid are saying, we'll stack A. If they don't come, we'll save. And uh, that means it's going to be the hardest path uh, for the T side. There is a timing here inside of the ladder room, but it's like another missed window. By chance. Let's see if Mihu, if he'll make a sound cue for Mihu. The flash comes up A ramp, and Fallen will rotate out, but he's going out through window. Double Molotovs inside sight, but neither of them screw with Stewie. Stewie, he's gonna be the playmaker. He sees the barrel of the off, decides to extend, gets the other two players, knows the third one's there, and dodges back into the cover. 25 seconds. Fire finally on the feet of Stewie. And in this moment, Cirque has no assistance, but inevitably it'll get there because Mihu with the wraparound gets shut down. Oh, they have fumbled the ball. Cirque loses information as to where Stewie's gotten off, and with seven seconds, that's it. Stewie 2K, big play to give Liquid their seventh. Mm -hmm. And they're hunting this down. Cirque running away, very low HP. Default, not expecting the A stack, definitely. And a little bit unfortunate in that regard, but you, you gotta hand it to Liquid for making that presence. They threw a light fake with what they had to work with, and it was just enough. Could have been the death. This one a bit more chaotic. Lots of presence early here in middle. There was the potential for the double cat peek. But then everybody kind of just lets off the pressure. A site evacuated. What's going on with the CT rotate? We got four guys in spawn. I'm not sure what the opening tactic was. I just I missed it, but had something to do with B. They all got damaged pretty badly for the try. Cirque looking at default. Oh, Ooh. great shot. Clean. That's Grim down. Uh, and there's... Oh, I was thinking there was a timing for Stu. They both flick up and look at the window. Elise trades one. They saw two players there. 3v4 on the site. Mihu finds a lurk, and this is where the CTs Ooh. fall apart. Beautiful stuff. Nice round, Mihu. Very that low. Is, it, is the sensitivity that crazy? Yes. Yeah? It's like, it's below one I remember at we, 400. Earlier like today, we were uh, playing the, uh, it was the Cirque versus Mihu uh, Betway Movement Challenge. He has like 600 effective DPI or something. Let me, let me see. In order for Mihu to do the KZ jumps, he'd flick across his massive mouse pad. And he beat Cirque. Yeah, he beat Cirque. He definitely beat Cirque. That was Polish power right there. Yeah, so this works out to 0.94 at, 800, at at 400 DPI. At 400? Yeah, at 400. Literally half your sense. <laughs> yeah, that's what Mihu plays on. <laughs> that's great. He's always done it, and he's always been really good. All right. So I'm kind of trolling, but at the same time, he's working so hard for these kills. Yeah. 
trying to fluster the uh, A player out of position. It works. Nap's been moving around. Somehow gets this blinded headshot versus Zobo. Him, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Sometime towards catwalk a couple times. Went down empty-handed. Luckily, Three he's surrounded by carries. Yep. Maybe he needs a fresh set of mouse skates. He does change his skates and stuff like that all the time. Yeah. I don't ever wash my mouse pad. Yeah, you're filthy. I just can't. It's not even like a weird like OCD thing. It's just I just don't. I can't have it feel different because it, it feels like I have different sensitivity. Okay. So I don't like bathing in my own germs. I don't want people to get that idea. I I think that's part of the. No, it's not. I think it's part of it. <laughs> just because I lick my mouse pad sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Once you clean your mouse pad, it tastes like soap. But it just feels. <laughs> it just feels different when you wash it. No. It does a little bit, yeah. but in a good way. In a very good way. Oh, man. I'm going to start wearing a sleeve. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Guns back in. Three rounds in a row for EG. Can they do the unthinkable? Can they get themselves on fire within this half? They go to NAF uh, again. They're keeping it simple. Hey, pray to me who maybe don't send him up first. Oh, man. Look at him fly. Oh, Holy yikes. Yikes. there. That could have been a very big opening for EG. Instead, it gets completely clamped down on. That was ugly. Dirt nasty. It's like a launder's mouse pad. You saw Kagan like crazy. Mm -hmm. but, and they walked up too, so. To each their own, I suppose. Should be a Counter Strike rule. Highest sense goes first. Just more efficient at clearing angles. This top mid Molly missed. They normally just want to like get some confirmation people are there, deny them from going there for a second. Olvo tries to sneak in the window quick. Spray's not great. Alige gets his. And a second player's coming up. Oh, but it's just not a great attempt. They smoke the window as Spellin's inside of it, but he's, they're still watching. I don't know. Oh, Alige, what was that? Whoa, is that off cat? Oh my god. No, no, it was... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Killed some, he killed a man through smoke, Launders. Yeah, I think it was... I think it was Cirque there right on, on cat in front of him. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see the yeah, X yeah. halfway up. Meantime as well, we didn't quite catch it. Dap's dying inside of Palace. Mihu half health 1v4. I think not. Yeah, it's unlikely. I uh, looked a bit looked a bit messy the way they approached the the window, but of course, you know, if Obo was super sharp, he would have got that kill. But I think that probably gave Alicia a little bit more confidence now. It's won that duel. I'm just surprised they reattempted it. I think maybe Sp Spellin was trying to time it with that smoke blooming where he would just get in there, or they were trying to throw that smoke so, you know, they could bait uh, a peek or a nade or something like that, but all it did was keep their attention, and then Ali just got the second kill. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, squeeze my lemons. Okay. Evil Genius is getting juiced. What do you think about this op fade with the stickers? Uh, uh, of all the fade skins, I think it looks worse on the op than anything else. Yeah, oh, for sure, yeah. It's too large. I saw... Too much. Throw a couple shots down middle. Sure enough, headshot. And he walks away with a 3K. So that's going to uh, bolster Mr. Jablonowski. You're still saving it, huh? I'm saving it. Okay. Stay, stay tuned, folks, for the next big leash frag. Scrawn Dog's got a lion. Shot in from Fallen on the ramp. Grim still up on under Balk. Of course, we know these two are always creating connections. Oh my god, the Ox scope actually almost gets him killed. But we've got players looking the other way. It's all good, baby. Every good thing it doesn't cost him. And it, of course, sets up Elyse for another crisp moment. Despite Elyse's performance in these last few rounds, man still can't catch up to Naf, who may get a chance to pad the stats as this one comes to an end. But Spellin survives it all. What is going on? I don't know what is happening. We've got two players from Liquid spamming as much damage as they thought they possibly could. Look at the HP here for Mihu, Spellin, and Obo. Looks like a Winamp equalizer. It's gonna have to be a retake attempt. Grim with another, uh, no. Grim's dead, and so is, maybe next time. Yeah, All I right. had 40 more minutes, then maybe I could explain uh, it. I see, I see. More in detail, but uh, well, instead we'll just have to react um, to this comeback.
All right, let's do it. Molotov hits the windowsill. Smoke for the cat plate. And the bomb rushes its way through connector. So Fallen's just looking to be a nuisance. Keep these CTs pinned. It is Daps on the solo A play. Spellin just got killed through smoke on catwalk. So now everything for Evil Geniuses is going to hinge on Daps by the ticket booth and these three counter terrorists rotating through their spawn. While they rotate it over, Naf decides to commit to the deep box and the post plant comfortably positioned for the jungle. Oboe gets Gush. Grim in with a kill and Naf seals the deal on Oboe. Sure enough, that backsight situation works out wonderfully. Daps, what can you give us, bud? 1v5, turn 1v4, that's it. An 11th for team. Active that, like, you don't see uh, EG being able to pull that off. Ooh, great shot from Cirque to start off the next round, though. However, that will make things quite interesting. Um, they can't retrieve the gun, but uh, honestly, with Deagles in a 5v4, you're well advantaged. I'll take as many of those as he would like to offer over. Yeah, that's the, that's the tricky part about being really good at retakes. It's it's just such a dangerous game to play. Stu looking to peel one off connector, but nobody there is facing. Oboe's very comfortably tucked into jungle, looking to support Daps on the window boost. Cirque starts rotating preemptively, and Grim kicks off the A play by killing the player inside the site. Oboe from the corner gets nothing, and neither will Cirque. Beautiful one deke from Cirque to start the round, but it feels like that's all EG having this one. This uh, exact like anti-eco is like what's perfect about Liquid. At least right now they're doing they're doing fantastic cat splits on Mirage, doing really good connector explosions as well. And that like ferocity that I think I felt like EG were lacking in the first half is kind of what Liquid did really well here. And they also did it without a, a palace player. And uh, yeah, when they just agreed to exit onto the site, uh, they followed through very, very well. What's on your mind? What's on my mind? Mm -hmm. um, what could have been with EG? Mm. Like, you know, sometimes you have to have a coach as the season almost hasn't started. Yeah. You know, and, and I just... Complexity. Yeah, we're just stuck in this weird little middle ground between, like, lands came back for a moment, and they are so close. Last fall finals. But, but there's been some real damage. And there are, exactly. It's like there are some teams that are fun to watch and incredibly great to go head to head. And then there are others that it's just, it's, it's unfortunate, man. We're like one foot in, still one foot out. At least with EG, they, you know, can always potentially go for a European player like they've already been yep. hoping to do with Sir. And that is a fantastic flash tactic to get a first kill here on this round. So, okay, let's see what happens. It is an A, a ramp hit. There are no right side smokes at all, so they're here to take the duels. But the duels are looking to be won by mostly the pistols. Stewie 1v3, can he pull it off? Close, gets oh, the second. No peek is here. Okay, Smihu takes. They still don't have Nevera, who was insane, but they, they have kind of recovered, and the system looks pretty similar, which is really cool. So I think there is hope. It is just sad to see our friends who are working so hard here to, you know, put on a show, practice every day, have to go through so many variables and uh, so much uncertainty. In a perfect world, everybody would have already got the ball rolling. Uh, but coming off of the summer, there are still some camps that, that aren't quite there. Mm -hmm. um, but as you said, there's hope. And I think if anything, that last round was a bit of hope still here for this micro example of mirage between these two teams. We've got the economy advantage back into the hands of Evil Geniuses, a CT side that's not going to fall entirely flat. It has a chance nice and early. But no real contest in terms of holding Liquid away from middle, so they will easily work their way into connector. And once that smoke fades with this flashbang from Fallen, they're going to pop into the A site. Cirque eats that flash a so bit, good. and it is very crisp in terms of the couple of kills that get the bomb onto the site. Plant inbound, and a save now potentially on the cards. And just look, and just like immediately look at the minimap and see how much progress they made as soon as that first flash comes. Um, Liquid have just been copy and pasting this play because it's working so damn well. It kind of fell out of favor versus some teams because of the way they're playing jungle or sitting on the stairs because either of those players have to come through a, 
a smoke, which is an inherent disadvantage. But for whatever reason, these time, like moments that Liquid are picking to do this play, they're just executing it so well, like to the precise millisecond with that flashbang and the three players popping through that it looks unstoppable. So I honestly haven't even seen a lot of teams try to take mid control away from Liquid when they've gone for it. They mostly respected it. But when Liquid have got that full mid control, no kills have happened. They've done a good job of either turning it into a cat split or they're a very likely 14th round win to the favor of Liquid. Unless they are trumped by a few deagles again. But unfortunately for EG, there's not even real utility here. That solo flash and smoke on Mihu. Spellen was very close to saving a gun last round, but that got cleared out by Liquid. They went on the hunt. Who needs utility when you have a, a Desert Eagle Oxide? Look at you. Yeah? Look at you. It was, What's right? this one? Red. Code red. Not far. Close. Not far off, Launders. So close. Ah, this one's a code red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who won? <laughs> Chump. <laughs> Window smoke comes out late. And it is that, again, quiet, like, careful approach on mid. Now, normally on the Antiquos, full on Antiquos, where it's very clear, or where it's maybe not very clear, they'll go for the cat split. But here, clearly, they're leaning towards A with that uh, couple of players on A ramp. But this is the important part about mid control. It's really hard to tell whether it's going to be A or B when you have it. Now, Spellin is... Oh! Dead? Yeah, he's dead. Is that the word you were looking for? I think he's going to see a leash first, but... Oh. oh. Me who is as well. Oh. Keeping it clean, boys. Nice. Liquid, oh. nothing but headshots here in the 20th round. There's always that. That was ultimately always going to happen, I think, in Liquid's mind. They've done very well to clear everything properly. Lamp flash over as Stewie comes out for the cross pick, and that's it. Simple as that, Zerk is gone. Stu remaining posted, waiting for that next player to come from sight. It would be Mihu if he decides to overchallenge. And Mihu currently 20 and 13, make it 14. Fallen takes his head off. Can Spellin get back some mid control? Yes. Elyse dies here, and it's only Grim to come in from underpass. If Spellin dies there, Obo has nobody here to support him, and sure enough, he dies spamming away inside of the smoke. So Team Liquid will certainly secure a 15th round win. Daps, if he's lucky, will get a chance to save. And now, unfortunately, the tail has turned to the point where it looks like the only saving grace of EG's... Daps, you got another map, bud. Oh, man. And now Team Liquid... They're screaming A-Ram. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the boulder is rolling down the mountainside, and evil geniuses are to the yodelers halfway up. And they're getting their liver picked out by a bird. Yeah. You know, they're just, they're singing their final song here on Mirage. Hey, you <laughs> They would be singing that, okay. Daps, tries he might, gonna die to a leash, is just looking very clean coming off of that A ramp. So Team Liquid doing what they had to do, which was convincingly putting distance between them and their...